For like 15 years, I was a really avid skydiver, so I have over 2,600 jumps. I like welding, I like sewing, things like kayaking and stand-up paddle boards and riding motorcycles and dirt bikes and trapeze. I've been doing about four years. Ride skateboards, that's a new one. Um, <laughs> Um, I don't think I'd be happy if I, my only identity was wrapped up in being an engineering professor. I think I need those different outlets and different sort of dimensions of, of who I am. So I'm, I'm Nadia Kellum. I'm an um, associate professor at Arizona State University. You know, I like pushing on people's conceptions of who people should be and what they should do. At a lot of institutions, I would be just a total oddball. But I feel like here I'm accepted because I, I am different, but it's okay to be different here. It's okay to, to be yourself. I want to be somewhere where people value trying different things and not just running a university like all universities have always been run. When I made that first job, I think I was expecting it to be this like crazy, reckless, you know, adrenaline sort of thing. And it, 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 you get that too. It's not, it's not that you don't have that at all. But I think what I liked about it was that, you know, when you're at the edge of the door of a plane and you're about to, about to go out and, and do your skydive, you're not thinking about something that happened at work the other day, or you're not thinking about that deadline that you have next week. Like you are present, you're in the moment. Um, I think it's sort of humbling in a good way for us to, us to get out and actually try something that you've never tried before. Or to me, being uncomfortable is something that is an indicator that you're starting to learn something or you're learning something new. Maybe a, an indicator that maybe you're doing something right. And sort of the, I don't know, old school way of thinking about learning was that, you know, like students are these vessels and you just have to fill, fill this stuff into their heads. <laughs> you have a lecture and I just need to say you know, over this 50 minute period, say all of the things that the student needs to learn. Um, what we've learned, you know, in, through educational research is that's not the best way to learn. So empowering and getting people to, to have the confidence that they can learn this stuff and they can teach themselves how to, how to do things. If they have the passion and the excitement and the initiative, um, I think that's the most important thing. I'm researching the roles of power and privilege on interdisciplinary teams and think about issues of, you know, structural inequalities and power and privilege and how that plays in. So I started reading Foucault and learning about power dynamics and it really helped me with my, my research. You know, not for the engineering curriculum to read Foucault. So it's some of the types of research questions and types of things that I'm interested in addressing are how do we make spaces where everyone feels like they have a voice and they can speak up? How can we tear down some of the institutional structures that are in place that, that are favoring certain groups of people over other groups of people? How do we create more inclusive environments so that people from many different backgrounds feel like they belong and feel like they should have a seat at the table? Um, and I think it's cool to get, to get engineering students thinking about these things because a lot of their courses have been more focused on you know, engineering sciences, and these are all important things, but getting them to think a little bit more about socio-technical systems and think a little more critically about sort of the world around them and, and sort of their role in the world. So what is, what is our role, you know, in society? Um, is our goal to, to just serve the sort of upper crust of society and, and help them sort of get ahead? Or is our goal to help create a, a workforce and, and create people and humans that are, that are kind and caring and, and can make a difference? Because um, if we think about the grand challenges that we're facing now, whether we want to or not, they require people from all different perspectives and backgrounds and disciplines. And so, so I think universities can play, can play a really positive role in that. Um, or we can continue to do the same and hope that something changes somewhere else. But, but I think universities could be a really central place to help, help drive that change.